I'm just packing up because I'm going to my friend's house to do all the photos for the tops. I need all my website listings. I need to make content to like prep for the release and everything. And she has some nice big white walls, which I don't have. So that's why I'm going to hers. I just need to like pack everything and I'm actually going by bike. It's only five minutes away, but I mean, this is the only option I kind of have. I don't really want to pay for a taxi. I'm just going to pack my tops in a garment bag and also tie the hangers actually so I can just carry them when I'm cycling. It's pretty easy. So that's one. Okay, I'm using my garment bags so they stay clean and in case it rains. It's been raining honestly every day here. It's June and it's raining and cold like i have to wear a jacket still why i'm packing my ham because if i am gonna quickly do a little press at her house at least i have this I'm sure all the curves are good oh, there's a pistachio on here <laughs> phone charger another pair of denim i'm also wearing denim i feel like if I wear denim with all the tops, it kind of keeps it consistent and it doesn't like clash with the tops so at all since they are the focus. And I don't think I really need anything else. I don't think so. I got a bag on me. I'm holding both of my garment bags and a bag in my basket. My arm is gonna for sure fall off.
fun and like taking all the photos and like styling them. I actually have more photos to do later today with another friend for size mediums. But I wanted to just quickly show you all the final products because I've shared the whole journey like step one, two, and three of my fashion production process. So now I have to show you the final results. Now I am wearing my original design today and I actually just washed and pressed it and it didn't shrink at all. I pre-shrink all the fabric so it doesn't change. Give it a nice little press and it's good as new. But for the extra smalls, I have three. This is called a vintage garden party. This one is white graph paper because it literally reminds me of the graph paper you have in math class. Then this is Dusty Rose Floral. I actually really love this one. I think it's super sweet. For smalls, I have two. So I have this white floral one. It used to be a tablecloth and it has kind of like a floral pattern on it. This one is like a cotton poly blend and a, a bit of a thicker fabric, I would say. Like it holds the shape really well. Then we have the opposite one of this that I'm wearing. This is called peach roses or peachy roses i should actually double check that what did i name it peachy roses which i think is really cute for mediums this is the brightest one i have called marine floral delicate garden because there's lots of little delicate florals on it and of course blush pink super one tone blush fabric most of the materials are like a thinner cotton which is really nice for the summer more breathable if it is thicker i will tell you there's only two of them then for large i have two we have the beige graph paper this one i noticed the fabric had like fade spots but i thought it would be fun to kind of use it to my advantage and make it kind of color not color block i guess it'd be like fade blocking so like this piece is more faded this piece is more faded but this is very beige and I thought it was kind of fun. It adds like more dynamic to the top as well as the back. So the sides are matching and then the whole middle panel is a bit faded. But up close you can still really see the pattern. I think it turned out well. Like I actually, this is probably one of my favorites considering it's a neutral. We also have the Dusty Flow Rose in L. This is the only top that comes in two sizes. I had a lot of this fabric so that was possible. The last two, which is the size extra large, this is a white plaid. Also, this was a tablecloth, so it's a bit thicker. And last but not least, the navy checkers. I also really love this. I'm just choosing some tops, probably three, one of each uh, extra small, small and medium, just to give you some styling inspiration, but also so you can see how they fit on. I can fit the range between extra small to medium. Of course, it's just three kind of different looks extra small is going to be tighter and looser but yeah people like to wear things different ways so it, it's up to you but this is how it looks on me so let's go try them on